my name is Olivia Starch. I'm a senior at the University of Texas where I'm double majoring in anthropology and journalism. And I am originally from Houston, Texas, and also a little bit Calgary, Alberta, in Canada. Um, I write for my next door neighbor uh, from when I lived in Houston. Her name was Kim Medlin. And when I was in middle school, she was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer. Uh, at the time, I didn't know a whole lot about cancer and you know all the treatment and stuff. I knew that chemotherapy was a thing, and I knew that cancer was a thing, and there had never really been any connection between the two uh, in my life. So when Kim was diagnosed, it was kind of a big hit since I'd basically known her and her children all of my life. Um, Kim died the year that my family moved to Calgary, Alberta, and one of the one of the weirdest things was the discussion with my parents about whether or not I would be left behind in Houston to finish high school there instead. And Ultimately, it was decided that, you know, had, had Kim been healthy, there's a realistic chance that my parents might have asked her to, you know, be my legal guardian so I could stay in the States and finish school, but because she was sick, it was something that just didn't work out. And so through this weird, you know, butterfly effect of events, I guess that's how I ended up at UT. I don't think I ever would have made it this far, um, if not for that awful situation that ended up, you know, yielding some beautiful things. So what I think will be most challenging on the ride, and what has definitely been most challenging so far, uh, is that I will have to learn to fail. Um, part of the reason that I actually went, you know, went up for ride director was because I knew that there was a 100% chance that I would not get 100% of everything right on the ride and in the months leading up to it. And so I was actually looking forward to learning how to fail. Uh, as a perfectionist, that's something that I don't do very well, and it's something that I know that I'm going to need to learn how to do before I really kind of progress in the rest of my life. So it'll be a challenge, which sounds bizarre because I'm basically asking to screw up, but at the same time, I think it's gonna be something very valuable, even though it'll be difficult to learn. So I most strongly identify with the pillar of hope. Um, the way I see it, cancer is not a disease that discriminates or chooses its victims based on, you know, age or gender or where they live or, you know, how many family members they may have that depend on. Um, it's, it's completely arbitrary who gets cancer. And at the same time, the reason I think hope is a good counter for that is because hope is something that anyone can have. Uh, it's the same sort of deal where hope is not, you know, chosen simply by the rich or people who are of a certain age. It's something that anybody can have. So that is why I think that it's a good counter to what we're fighting.